so here's the UST reusable hand warmer. Right now it's in its flexible state. Uh, you can just put that in your pocket and it is cool to the touch. However, see this little metal disc in here? See that right there? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bend it once or twice. And look at that. How it's crystallizing in the inside now. Isn't that cool? And as it crystallizes, this is already hot. If you use any of the disposable heat packets, you know it takes a few minutes for it to heat up. This is heating up and as it's hot, it's still flexible. Uh, when it cools down, it's gonna turn just a little bit harder. Uh, you may have to massage it a little bit if it doesn't fully crystallize, but I haven't had any issues with mine yet. Uh, this is something that I carry year-round uh, in my first aid kit uh, in case I have to apply heat to a hypothermic subject. Uh, you can put these right in the palms of the hands, uh, soles of the feet, any place that the arteries come in. Uh, put it inside the, uh, the groin uh, or in the armpits or right around the neck for the carotid uh, artery. And this will actually deliver quite a bit of external heat uh, to somebody undergoing hypothermia. And besides first aid, of course, these are just really handy to keep around to keep your hands warm, uh, whether it's emergency or if you're just enjoying any time outdoors, uh, especially once it gets just a little bit chillier. So the heat has long since dissipated from your UST reusable hand warmer. So now I'm going to show you how you can recharge it using just boiling water on your stove. Uh, the things you're going to need are going to be a pot, boiling water. I brought my water up to a rolling boil. I've actually been reducing the heat down to a simmer. We only need a, a bubble or two for that recharging process, which I find takes about 10 minutes. may take you a little bit longer depending on conditions. Uh, you're also going to need a pair of tongs for picking up and setting down the uh, heat pack and you need some sort of bandana or something just to set the heat pack on to dry all right so that water looks pretty good i just got a bubble or two and i'm gonna set the heat pack down gently and now we're just gonna wait until it recharges and that's just set a, a simmer it's my stove it's set at about medium heat that's all you need to dissolve the crystals inside that. So it's been about 10 minutes, and that looks like all the crystals in that hand warmer have been dissolved. So I shut the stove off. I'm going to reach in carefully with my tongs here. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good, doesn't it? steam out of there so it's not fogging up the lens and uh, you know I, I wouldn't put this right in your pocket otherwise it's going to be probably uh, quite the hand warmer let it cool down for a few minutes but you can tell it's been all all those crystals have been dissolved I can see that metal disc again